How to install Android 12 Beta 5, the Choose Your Pill build on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Android 12 Beta 5 on your Poco F1 now. What are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have TWRP recovery installed. How do you unlock the bootloader? How do you install TWRP recovery? Videos for those can be found in the description of this video. Next thing, make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. Because if you run into any boot loops, any encryption issues, you will have to perform a format data and you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. Another super important thing to note over here is that this specific build is pre-rooted out of the box and you will have to enable Magisk Hide for you to pass safety net and you also have to clear the data for the play store and the google play services so that your device is certified another thing make sure that your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent do not and i repeat do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent so here it is i do have the xiaomi poco f1 which right now is running miui 12.0.3.0 based on android 10 However, you can jump from a custom ROM as well. Now, super important thing to note over here is that people have reported if they're jumping from a custom ROM to this Android 12 Beta 5, some of them are getting the no SIM error, in which case the only solution would be to install stock MIUI first and then install this specific build of Android 12 Beta 5. Another issue they have faced is after installation, they are getting the no SIM error. So again, me personally, I have not faced that error, but the only solution for that is to follow this process and then come from stock MIUI as well. Anyways, next up, we can go into password and security, remove your screen lock, fingerprint and face unlock. And while we are in password and security, we can go into privacy. You will notice that phone is not encrypted. This means I do not have to perform a format data. Those of you whose device is encrypted, you will have to perform a format data. Then we can go back and we will go into me account and remove your me account. Once that is done, go back, go into accounts and sync and remove your Google account. Once you've removed all the accounts and security measures, make sure you reboot your device once. Now, those of you who are running custom ROMs based on AOSP or CAF, you can go into settings and here and go into security. You might have to tap on advanced and you will notice that encryption and credentials says phone is encrypted. So that is where you can check for AOSP based ROMs whether your device is encrypted or not. And again, let me repeat myself. If your device is encrypted, you have to perform a format data if your device is not encrypted or decrypted then you do not have to perform a format data next up what are the files which you need so you need the firmware and I do recommend that you flash the firmware because this is an important step towards avoiding the no sim error then of course you need the android 12 beta 5 file and no you do not need disable force encryption it is baked into the zip file of android 12 beta 5 next up we are going to turn off our device and once the device has turned off press and hold power and volume up together till you see the recovery logo again press and hold power and volume up till you see the recovery logo so we have the poco logo power and volume up is still pressed and twrp recovery is now booting and here it is twrp recovery and the version of twrp which i am using is linked in the telegram post so again i do recommend you use whatever recovery is recommended and if you want to use any other recovery feel free but i cannot guarantee whether the build will boot or not so herein we will go into wipe advanced wipe select talvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe once that is done tap on the home button go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the firmware and android 12 beta 5 for the poco f1 if you downloaded it on your phone directly it will be in the download folder and the first file you need to select is the firmware then add more zips then select the android 12 beta 5 and then swipe to confirm flash
Now once the files have flashed successfully, we can scroll up, make sure there were no errors. So here it is, you are flashing the firmware and we did get a message, script succeeded, result was one. Then we are flashing Android 12 beta 5 and again, script succeeded, result was one. Next up, you're going to tap on the home button and those of you whose device was encrypted, you need to perform a format data. So you will go into wipe format data, type in yes, tap on the check mark on the bottom right. Do note that format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device. For me, my device was not encrypted or decrypted. So I can skip the format data part. I will go into reboot and here and I will select system. And there it is we do have the google boot animation on our poco f1 which means we are booting into android 12 beta 5 and the first boot up might take some time you might see the boot animation appear disappear for a millisecond absolutely normal just have some patience and there it is we are on the setup screen now this message about internal problem with your device contact your manufacturer absolutely normal you might get this at every boot please do not ask me how to get rid of it learn how to live with it and next up i am going to skip the initial setup real quick and there it is we are on the home screen let us access the widgets for starters and here and if you go into clock bam here it is the new android 12 beta 5 clock is here we can also go into settings about phone of course will show the device as pixel 3 because this is a gsi port from the google pixel 3 and once i am in about phone if i go into android version bam here it is android version is 12 security patches from september kernel we are using is shiva's no name kernel the build of course is the choose your build build and yes you do have the android 12 easter egg and once you enable this easter egg if you go back into your widgets you should have a new easter egg called paint chips which is going to give you all the accent colors being used in the current material you theme and there it is peeps that is how you install android 12 beta 5 on your poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you